I love wine. <laughs> and, and I don't mean that I love it like, oh, I need a drink. <laughs> I, and that's good too, but I really love the complexity of wine. I love the intricacy of wine. And I've been into wine and studying wine and practicing wine, as I like to call it, since I was 21 and I took a class at my college called Wines and Spirits. Fantastic class. <coughs> Twice a week, two hours each class meeting, 40-ish college students, six samples of wine, food pairings, and we sat around and discussed how the, that food and that wine interacted in our mouths and our tastes and our palates. And they talked about the geography of where those wines came from, and the varietals and the terroir. I fell in love with doing that. I wanted to do it all the time. I wanted to do it as much as I could, and I wanted to do it with my friends, and I wanted to do it with my family. So as a 21-year-old college student learning about wine, I said, well, I need to have a Friday night party and taste wine for my friends. Mm -hmm. So I bought wines, I bought cheeses and spreads and bread and fruit, invited people over, said, hey, let's, you know, let's try wine. You're going to have a sip of the wine. What do you, what do you smell? What do you see? What do you, what do you taste? And then try the food. And then have another sip of the wine and see how that goes. What do you get? We did this once or twice, <laughs> meaning one or two wines. <laughs> and that was about it. <laughs> Should have known better. Not going to go over for 21 year olds so much having a wine tasting party. <laughs> but I loved it still. I loved being able to look at a glass of wine and talk about its color beyond just, well, it's a white wine. But no, that's, that's golden, like late hay of a California Chardonnay. Or I like being able to talk about um, the, the barnyard, earthy, dried cherry qualities of an old world Pinot Noir. For me, it wasn't just about having that glass of wine. It was about talking about that glass of wine with somebody that I was with. Well, this led me into a number of different ventures, one of them being wine competitions. I ended up finding myself behind the scenes of wine competitions, and for the last 15 years, every year in May, I go to California, back to LA, and I work at the Los Angeles International Wines and Spirits Competition. And in doing so, I help orchestrate a competition where 3,000 plus wines are judged in a two-day time period by about 75 judges. Each of those judges taste, talk, describe, and award medals to 100 plus wines a day. Sip, spit, discuss, repeat 99 more times. <laughs> it's a fascinating arena, but I've learned a lot in those moments. Um, I don't really get to taste a lot of that wine, I'm not a judge, but I get to hold the bottles and I get to learn about those wines more see where they're from and read the tasting notes and read about the topography and the terroir and the area and the soil and the hillsides and the valleys. And I've learned a lot from that. Now, I have been fortunate enough to be able to try some of those wines as well. And that's continued to develop my palate. But what's important and what I've, what I've really come to learn from many of these experiences meeting many different people who come from many different places around the world, is that wine, like many other fine things, is an art. And there's an intention there for it. But there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of work behind the scenes on the winemaker side, in the vineyards, right? and then also on that judging side. Yes, wine judging is a lot of work sitting around and tasting wines all day. <laughs> it is. How many of you have ever had palate fatigue? <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> you know, everybody's got their own issues with their jobs, right? But I've, I've really learned that, that there's a lot more to something than what we initially think or what we may treat it as or use it for up front on that, on that surface level. I never would have thought that that's what I would have got from working at wine competitions, but it certainly has. Cheers. <laughs>